Christmas will not be a very merry affair for hundreds in relief camps across Manipur. They have been here for almost eight months, and many are still burying their loved ones. There will be no feasting. There will be no uh, singing together inside the church. Uh, all the activities is going to be just like normal church service, worship service. And here is great difficulty for us to stay here. And as our church, our house have been burned down. One meet with our friends, our relative, most of our relative, we are very far apart. The violence had hit Manipur's economy too, and Christmas shopping too is subdued. Market is very down nowadays. Uh, as nobody celebrating the Christmas, and people are, might be they, they, they're not getting I mean their income also. Uh, salary. The Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum or the ITLF has issued an advisory requesting people not to organize overtly conspicuous celebrations and has asked the church to organize only normal service and not to organize any community feast or fellowship events. Many Christians living in Imphal Valley, including the Meite Christians, have decided to forego the celebrations this year considering the situation and in solidarity with those in relief camps. Here too, Christmas sales have been hit. Last year it was pretty amazing because all of us were united and as one we celebrated but this year uh, due to those situations we're not able to have such a grand festival. We have encouraged and requested our members to celebrate Christmas together as a family. Not only that but to go beyond that family celebration by sharing their resources with others with those who have been marginalized. This Christmas, Manipur is hoping for the gift of sustained peace. With K. Mangte in Churachanpur and B.M. Sanjeev in Imphal, in Guwahati, Ratandip Chaudhary for NDTV.